Alright, so before I get my thoughts and opinions on this new game, let's watch the trailer first. I already watched it and y'all probably did too, but let's watch it again. Alright, let's watch it again. I'm gonna try to tell y'all what I was thinking as, as I was watching this. I'm gonna try to commentate on what I was thinking. We are beyond the Right here, I was already, I was already, I was already on like on hot. I'm like. I was already, you know. People come north. It already caught my attention. Disappear. Oh, some shit. Mount Yotai, 1603. Damn! But you. You. Are hunting. And now. I'm not gonna lie, right here, Everywhere. right here is when I is when I kind of you know, is when I I figured out I basically already knew this was ghost based on the art style because this this just screams ghost. Grown in here is I thought it was you. Ghost of Tsushima too though. I mean this is a part two, but it ain't part two of Tsushima. Still playing nonetheless. I'm still, still playing. Still think you're the hunter. She look badass. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Unlike these motherfuckers on Twitter, I'm not scared of a of a woman of a female protagonist. I love me a good, I love me a badass female. I ain't even finna cap to you. I love me a badass female. I like these niggas on Twitter. And this is what gave it away, obviously. Sucker Punch Studios. Cause who say women can't fight? Nigga. I love me a badass female protagonist. I forgot what her name was. I was reading an article on, on the trailer. I forgot what her name was. Start with an A. Yo, Ty. Give it to me. 2025. Give it to me. I pro and I promise you, I'm not just saying it just to say it, just to be, oh, just to be, oh, um, there ain't nothing that a male protagonist can do that a female can. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I promise you, I'm not saying it just to be, you know, oh, you know. Blah, blah. Well, here we are. After years of waiting, we are finally getting a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima. Let's just watch some videos on it together, time, me and you. Let's just watch some videos together on it. Jin's story, we are moving on to a and share our thoughts with the people setting, making videos on it. Also, shit. Mount Yote, which is located far to the north in Hokkaido. Now, I will admit, I am a little bit bummed about this. I was, I, I'm not, I'm not a little bit of bummed out. I am like, you know, like damn, my nigga Jin Sakai not gonna be in here no more. The time period it takes place for this game, he dead, he long gone. I ain't gonna lie, I miss him already. The game ain't even out yet and I miss him already. I just got done playing Ghost of Tsushima four months ago. I was hoping that the sequel to Ghost of Tsushima would in fact continue Jin's story. But I'm not gonna lie, if they doing it how I think they are doing it with like different, different origin stories, you know, like Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of um, Yotai, Ghost of somebody else, Ghost of somebody else, you know, like a whole different, you know, like, uh, what's it called, anthologies? Different anthologies, but it's all part of the ghost series. The ghost, um, that that's cool. That's cool. I'm not gonna lie. And would lead us perhaps to Kyushu during the second Mongol invasion, where more drama and conflict. Wait, what he say? The sequel to Ghost of Tsushima would in fact continue Jin's story, and would lead us perhaps to Kyushu during the second Mongol invasion. Kyushu, second Mongol invasion. There was a second invasion. I must have missed that. 
I must have missed that. Where more drama and conflict between clans could all. Because as far as I knew, as far as I knew, if there was to be story to tell, it would be with Jin Sakai fighting off the Shogun. Because then he betrayed like the samurai code or some shit and the Shogun was coming for him. He either had to have Uncle, I mean, yeah, Lord Shamira. Lord Shamir had to kill Jessica, but me, I picked. No. Wait, what am I saying? You end up beating Lord Shamir either way, but you get to choose whether you let him live or not. I killed him because that's what he wanted. He wanted to go out the samurai way. Also, have been woven into the story. Yet, I guess that is not what Sucker Punch wanted to do. Rather, as an I'm article not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. says, they liked the idea better of focusing on the ghost aspect. And I guess they felt, and rightfully so, that it doesn't have to only ever be Jin Sakai. So instead, we are now getting thrown a little over 300 years into the low future. Low-key a smart move. That's low-key a smart move. Far to the north. Our main protagonist is now a woman named Atsu. Atsu, that's her name. That's low-key a smart move because you don't want to drag out a story for too long. Because once you make a part two for the same, for the same character, the same story... Depending on how you do it, most of the time you have to make a part three. And then if you're not doing it right, it's going to feel dragged out. Currently, we know very little about her character. Really, the only major hints at what is going on for her I'm are not mad in at the this. trailer when another warrior says I'm ready. she is hunting, but also being hunted by many other ronin in the area. Instead, Sucker Punch decided on a new protagonist, a female samurai who goes... And you know what they might do? They could actually do this. You know how in Ghost of Tsushima you had like mythic tales of other, of older samurais and shit and you was able to get like their weapons or their armor or their stances or their moves or some shit? You, they, gonna do, they might do the same thing with Jessica. You might get his ghost armor or might get his ghost stance. Oh my god, this shit's by the name of Atsu. Fun fact, her voice actress is Erika Ishii. She had a ton of roles for games like Destiny 2, Apex Legends, Destiny Final 2? What's, What's her name? Samurai, who goes by the name of Atsu. Fun fact, her voice actress is Erika Ishii. She had Erika Ishii. What was she in? What was she in? What was she in? Oh, she was Anna Bray? I used to be a huge Destiny fan. That's why I'm just, I'm looking into it. Okay. Okay. Wait, what else she was in? Apex Legends, Valkyrie, Deathloop. I don't know Deathloop. I don't know Dimension Twenty. Okay, okay, okay. Voice of Ruth Zeng. If you remember her from Phantom Liberty expansion, there was one scene with her during one of the missions. So in Ghost of Yote, Atsu's journey takes place in 1603, more than 300 years after the events of Ghost of Tsushima during the Edo period. Besides a huge time skip, the action takes place in a completely different geographical area of Japan By them in the lands surrounding Mount Yute, years after? a tower peak in the heart of Ezo, yeah. an area known today as Hokkaido. Situated in the northern part of Japan, in the time period we get to play in, this whole island was outside of Japan's rule and there are many unexpected dangers. So it's likely that the game will explore more of the governance by the Matsumai clan over the southern part of the region, their initial relations and trade with the Ainu, the indigenous people who lived in the area. In fact, a lot of people speculate that Atsu is actually of Ainu descent and possibly the Ainu rebellion, though historically I believe that came in a lot later from when the game setting is in. So like half a century later from when we get to play in, though there could be a time skip in the full game. And while that's not indicative of the game size, Hokkaido is a much larger area. Damn! I mean, this might be a bigger game. A way bigger game. I think I didn't say everything I didn't need it to say. I ain't even really have nothing to say much more than what I said yesterday, but I wasn't recording because I was not expecting this at all. And truth be told, I just wanted the video. I just wanted to upload a video on it just to share what little thoughts I had left. And y'all can tell me your thoughts and, you know, tell me what you think about it. Me, I'm playing it. I'm, I'm, I'm messing with the concept of, um, um, uh, just the ghost series. You know what I mean? Just the ghost series. Go to Shima, go to Yotai, go to something else, go to something else. A ghost series, different, you know, on some anthology shit. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think of this shit. I'm out, that's all I had to say.